Hi, I am Peter Gergic. I am a postdoctoral research fellow working in Sally Kemper's laboratory at the University of Michigan in the Department of Human Genetics. The Kemper lab is interested in pituitary hormone deficiency in humans and mice. Deficiencies in transcription factors can lead to aplasia or hypoplasia of a particular organ both in humans and mice. Previously, in the Kemper lab, we have studied a number of transcription factor deficient mice, including the LHX3, the LHX4, and the pitex null mice. These mice share the phenotype of pituitary hypoplasia, where in the Radke's pouch, uh, in the pituitary primordium, we can see an increased cell death and a decreased proliferation, suggesting a defect in the cell cycle. Today, I would like to talk uh, in detail more about our paper recently accepted in molecular endocrinology entitled LHX4 Deficiency, Increased Sex Independent Kinase, One A Expression, and Pituitary Hypoplasia. At mouse embryonic day 11.5, the pituitary primordium is beginning to form. In the Radke's pouch, we found there is no change in expression of cyclin D2 in any of the mutants but cyclin D1 expression is different. In the wild type in panel A, it is expressed throughout Radke's pouch. In panel B, we can see that P21, an inhibitor of the G1 phase of the cell cycle, follows a mutually exclusive pattern with cyclin D1. In the three mutants, the areas expressing cyclin D1 and P21 are shifted dorsally. The most striking changes in the LHX4 mutants. There are additional evaginations. As seen in the small inserts, these clusters of cells are positive for cyclin D1 and 2, but negative for P21, suggesting an active participation in the cell cycle. Because we saw expanded expression of P21 in the absence of LHX4, we tested whether LHX4 can repress P21 expression through conserved DNA sequences in and around the P21 gene. We cloned three conserved areas of the mouse P21 promoter to luciferase reporter. We marked these elements with boxes as conserved element 1, 2, and 3 in the diagram of the mouse P21 gene. In the pituitary alpha T31 cell line, we found that LHX4 can exert about 30% repression of reporter activity through two different elements. We used electrophoretic mobility shift assays to test whether LHX4 binds DNA directly with the conserved elements. Two segments within conserved element 2 showed, showed specific binding to LHX4 marked with asterisks. We summarized our findings in our final figure. Normally, expression of different transcription factor genes set up mutually exclusive expression of cyclin D1 and P21 to control regions of cell proliferation and differentiation. In the absence of LHX4, cell cycle regulation is altered in the Radke's pouch with a dorsal shift in the boundary and expanded expression of P21 and decreased expression of cyclin D1. Cells that cannot differentiate undergo apoptosis, which leads to a hypoplastic and dysfunctional pituitary gland. We think our findings may have relevance outside of the field of pituitary development. LHX4 was most recently described as a potential tumor suppressor gene in lung and liver cancer. We also would like to thank to all our collaborators and acknowledge our funding from the National Institutes of Health. We hope you will enjoy reading our paper. Thank you for watching.